Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the author of What is WebSphere? along with the Exam Scam Certification Guides. The Sun Certified Java Associate Guide is pretty hot these days, so I'd appreciate it if you went to my website, www.pulpjava.com, or perhaps even examscam.com, and uh, picked up one of picked up a copy of one of my books. Um, buy them off me, you get a discount, and we ship them out the very next day. Anyway, so I wanted to show you how to use some use bean tags and get property tags. Um, I've got this handsome little timer that when you throw on somebody's page, it actually just kind of, um, what does it do? It, uh, well, it can start up and it can tell you how much time has elapsed. Actually, I'm going to even go into my timer here and say this.start. Which will actually make sure that my timer starts when the constructor is called. Um, but what I want to do is I want to take this timer and add it to a JSP page and do it through use bean tags. So I'm going to create a new Java server page. And I'm going to call this the timer tester JSP. Why not? Click finish. Page Designer will come up. That's the fantastic WYSIWYG tool that we have for visually editing HTML and also source editing and getting a preview. There's my handsome little JSP page. In preview there's not much to it, but I'm going to say something along the lines of here is the output of our timer. And I'll say something along the lines of lapse time, start time. So at those particular points, maybe I'll even put a break in there. I'd like to display the elapsed time and the start time. Now there's all sorts of interesting things up here. I don't know, I don't need that link. I don't need these meta tags. Um, page equals Java. Everything here looks good. I've got my little timer tester, maybe do a preview. It's not too dynamic quite yet. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to move to the design view of my timer tester JSP. So I'm in the design view. I am then going to find my Java bean. So there's my timer. I'm going to take this timer and I'm going to drag it right to the top left hand corner of this page. There's a little 7 there. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to double click, maybe right click and select properties for that Java bean. And right here it'll say, okay, this bean needs an ID. What do you want to call this? I'll call it timer. It's uh, a bean. It's of the class timer. And where are we going to find this timer bean? Is it going to be in the request object, session object, application scope? I'm going to stuff this right into the session. Okay, so I've now got this Java bean. It's called timer. Um, it's an instance of the com exam scam common timer class. And for the most part, it should be found inside of the session. And I can take a look at the source. Actually, by just dragging and dropping on there, you can actually see that you get this cool little JSP use bean tag. And it says we're going to use a bean of that type with this ID that can be found inside of the session. Now going back to the design view, what I'd like to do is I'd like to print out the elapsed time, right where it says elapsed time. Then when you get a use bean tag, this is how easy it is to do it. You just simply go JSP, insert get property. This is so cool, I love it. La 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 la. Gotta wait for the tool to kind of digest what's going on. But now you can see here, we've actually got this list of all the kind of in scope objects, we got our little timer there. And it says, hey, what do you want to display about the timer? These are the different properties that we have. Right there, I want to display the elapsed time. So I click OK. Right down there, I say JSP, insert get property. What do I want to add? I want to print out the start time. And that's how easy it is to do drag and drop programming with your JSPs and your Java beans. So Java beans, JSPs, the session, they all work together great. And you can actually see that that, that little drag and drop, it's all 100% pure Java, um, per J, pure JSP servlet API. We end up getting a little get properties tag. And the get properties says, 
that instance of timer called timer, we want to display the elapsed time property. And that timer there, that name, matches the ID. This sometimes throws people off. It's ID when you declare it, and it's name when you use it. Um, but you can see that those both match exactly. And these are considered properties. Really, they match getters in the actual class. Notice in the actual class, there's no such property as elapsed time, just a get elapsed time method. But that's fine. And it's an instance of this class. Now, what happens when we actually run this particular timer class? Well, or this, what happens when we run this JSP? I'm going to do a file save all. I'm going to do a file close all because I make sure that everything is saved. I'm going to take this timer and say run on server and see what happens. So it's going to compile and run on the WebSphere application server. As it's compiling, did I tell you about my books on examscam.com? Maybe, maybe not. And we see, right when it runs the first time, we get a start time, and we get an elapsed time of zero. Now if I click refresh, we get a new elapsed time. Click refresh again, a new elapsed time. So it's been about 23 seconds, 26 seconds. 28, 29, 30. And essentially what's happening now, let's take a look at the JSP page, is this particular line here, this use bean tag, says look for an instance of the class timer with the name timer inside the session scope. If it doesn't find one, it creates one and stuffs that object into the session. So the first time it runs, there's not one in the session, it stuffs one in there. Every subsequent time, when it goes when the page is refreshed, it goes back into the session, looks for that object named timer, which is an instance of a timer, pulls it out and displays the elapsed time and the start time. And I think that person even looks like they got glasses there. That's the kind of their nose. And uh, they got some teeth. Anyway, sorry, didn't mean to do that. Um, but that's how easy it is to use the get property tags and the use bean tags um, to integrate Java Beans with your JSP pages. And now, as I said, um, please go to my website, www.examscam.com or pulpjava.com, and uh, pick up a copy of What is WebSphere? Help support the site, uh, pick up, or even pick up a copy of some of our ExamScam certification series. Anyways, happy WebSphere!